Hello everyone, this is Bad Stainless. I am here with Pearl Phantom. Hey. We're playing more fo Frame Wars. Frame um, Wars here. Yep, Frame Wars. Great painting heist. <laughs> I still have no movie. idea what's going on, but we're going to play anyway. What are we doing, Purple? Well, I'll, I'll quickly give you a lowdown on the mods you collected last time. So if you go to your arsenal. Alright, arsenal. Yeah. A arsenal. Arsenal. Asinine, yep. So okay. push X to interact with it. You in there? Yep. Right, so from here you can actually just recolor everything for a start. But anything you've got equipped, including a warframe. Right, so if you go to your Mark One Bratton, for instance. So if you hover over Mark that on the One Breton. Yeah. Yep, just hover over it. Okay. So you see in the bottom right all the stats on it. Okay. Stats can get complicated. Right, but mostly what you want to do is go to. Oh, we can't upgrade yet. Okay, well, that's arbitrary, but from here, this is where you would, um. Pardon me, equip stuff, uh, to it, like those mods you found to increase the damage. Ooh, I can make it pretty yeah. colored. Yeah, yeah, you can fiddle with the colors. You can that's buy color palettes about. and all sorts of stuff. Yep, so, should we get on with the next mission then? Sure. Yep, I Might don't as well, know if we it's gotta, going to let us. We gotta learn stuff. I don't know so. if we're gonna be able to see it in a group for this, but we'll try. Okay. So, liberate the imprisoned army. This is a rescue mission. It's not letting me click it. Uh, fourth <clears> prize. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, we can do it together. Owner of the mission See? key has left the squad. Please choose a new mission. Eh? Oh. Did I unselect it? There we go. So now you can exception or you can decline I it accept or whatever. It. There you go. And now we got. So we can do this one together. Oh, Yay. So this is a rescue mission. The way rescue missions work, you fight your way through to a prison. If you can kill the wardens without them detect you, you do not get a timer. The wardens detect you and raise the alarm. They set a timer to execute the prisoner. Okay. Right. The idea is we've got to get prisoner, find the prisoner's cell. There will be multiple to choose from. Get him out of it and escort him to the exit. Okay. So, yeah. The arms dealer is named uh, Darbo. He's being held in the prison block on the other hey. side of this factory complex. Okay. Right. Right, so this is the sliding, yeah? Yeah, I... I'm... You just slide your way around. Right, and then... Oops. Got slide jump. You can also slide double jump. Where did you go? I activated a Down. tram. Oh, uh, that's not the way to go. No? I'm down here. If you look on radar, oh, you should oh, see the icon with oh, my head. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> yep. If you look on radar, you should see the icon with my head on it. Right. See what I mean about the slide jumping? Yeah, but, I mean, it looks dumb as fuck doing it on video. Oh, yeah, but it does get you around quicker. Focus on the mission. It's our only hope of figuring out this link with him. Alright, this is where we've got to go. Uh, Alright. Oop, plop. Right. Pinky. Can you, will they hear you? Hmm? No. It, when you hover over a weapon in the um, arsenal, it'll tell you what level of noise it has. So if they shoot, their weapons are noisy, so they'll raise the alarm. We shoot, our machine guns are noisy, bows aren't. The sword is silent, and so are the kunai. So if you want a silent ranged attack, you want the kunai. And he probably just raised the alarm. <laughs> Did he? Well, he shot, which means anyone in earshot that would have heard him shoot will run to a console and trigger the alarm, like these guys. We got him. Yep. Yeah, I should probably swap my kunai as well since they're silent. Um, right, now. Oop. Oh, yeah, they're coming, Hello. they're coming. Yeah, right, so check your radar. You see the symbol that says where we got to go? Yeah, yeah. You notice it's got a down arrow on it. Downstairs. Yeah, yeah that means it's below us. So they've even got um, a 3D marker. Right. Um, right, watch this. 
See those pits of lava down there? Or marble yeah. metal or whatever the hell they are? Watch how far you can actually jump if you do the parkour properly. And that's what I have to teach you to do eventually. Right. <laughs> so, fun trick. Let me just kill these guys down here that are bothering me and then I'll teach you how to do that. Yeah, because this is a nice open happen. level. Not right. any time this century. Right, so I'll tell you a fun trick. When you're jumping... Yeah? So... Oh, stay still, stay still. Right. So look straight up. Mm-hmm. Tap control and jump. Okay. Get it? And then while you're in the air like that, you can look forward and jump again. Change direction. Yeah. So you can do a straight jump I'm, up. Yeah. It's going to take yeah. you a while to do that, man. Yeah. But this is what I mean about the level of hardcore you can get to. You've also game. been playing this game for how long? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. But I was just kind of explaining the basics. I don't expect you to get basics. So this is a dual controller door, which only applies to multiplayer. So push yours now. There you go. Right, this is the prison area. So this is where the wardens will be. This is where it's time to be sneaky. If you can find all the wardens and kill them, without being detected, you get a bonus. Do the wardens look like what we've been killing? Uh, they'll look slightly different, but they will, they will have the name warden over them. That's a warden. Yeah, he went, he shot you coming in and then went straight to that thing. And now we've got the timer. You hear the alarm going off? Yeah. Claxton. Right, so first we've got to get into the prison complex. Here we go. I've unlocked it. Now, you see there's two cells? I'll get yeah. the right one, you go for the left one. Search these All right. cells for Darbo. He has to be here somewhere. Because this is a tutorial mission, we don't have a timer. Right, mine's empty, which means you've got him. I owe got him. Right, now we have to get him out. Extraction is ready. Remember, By the way, it doesn't matter if you use your noisy gun now, because what he sounded the alarm, so go for whatever you want. <laughs> um, well, does he follow really thing. good? Yes. If we get too far away from him, he would literally teleport us. You do not have to worry about that. Oh, that's the wrong way. See, what makes melee weapons good is if you've got a lot of enemies clustered up. Right, they've put us on lockdown, so I need to hack this. Okay. Breach complete. We're free to proceed. I gave that to the secondary that. weapon. Hmm? I oh, gave him um, the weapon. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fine. Right, so... Where are we going? Down. Right, so you can just jump down here. As I said, he's pretty good at following us. I've never had an issue where they've not been able to follow me, ever. What's that? By the way... Uh, hmm? What's what? Oh. I'm covering Fine. my ears because my ears hurt. Why? I don't know. That's oh, me. that's the security alarm. That'll deactivate the alarm and stop enemies flooding in. Ow. Where are you shooting me from, you ass? Oh, there. So basically you can get headshots in this game, by the way. So if you can aim to shoot someone in the face, do it. Because you will get um, more damage. Isn't that nice? He's politely waiting for us. Yeah, even if he does go down, you actually can just get, you know, like Borderlands, where someone's bleeding out. Yeah. Yeah, you can get people back on their feet. That applies to party members as well as um, NPCs. By the way, this is where melee weapons are super handy. Rather than reloading, if you run out of ammo, just switch to your melee weapon and kill stuff. Because in most games, if you run out, you've got to hide and reload, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in this one, you can just literally use your quick melee and kill everything around you before you reload. Right, so this should be the exit in front of us. Right over there. And I just jumped over it. Mission complete. Nice. Wow, we got some good mods there. Did we? Um, continuity, intensity, and uh, intensifying stretch. Yeah. Um, they're all 
mods that modify your Warframe's powers. Do you know, like, your number one that fires like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those ones specifically modify those. When you are ready, proceed to the navigation cool. console. Sweet. Um, there we go. So now we can deal with the mods. Is that so downstairs? that machine. Yep. Okay. Could be the first machine on the left you come in. Okay. Hi. Game control of my character, thank you. Operator, I've linked the okay, did it. to your arsenal now. Now do I go to the arsenal? Yep, sure. So now I can explain mods. Alright. So now when you hover over your mark button, you should see an upgrade button. Yep. Right, so if you click that. An done. Find, operator. Right. There are hundreds of these mods so in the very top left, there you should see capacity. A lot of possibilities. I have serration. Oh yeah, capacity no, no. two or two. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So weapon dot level zero. You can level them up to thirty. And if you notice on serration, it says two. Yeah, it says yep. two. Yep. So that's how much of a cut it takes up. So if you drop, uh, just literally drag and drop um, serration into one of the bars at the top, that'll equip it to your weapon. Okay. Done. And you should see updated stat on the um, left hand side. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Went up, yeah. Yep, so that's how it works. You can also upgrade serration. Oh, cool. So you notice it's got three little grey dots. Thanks Just right under where back. it says new. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's how many levels it can up. So it does plus 10% damage. Each one of those dots will upgrade it. So this mod can be worth 40% damage. Okay. And that's how it works. So that new station we just locked? Yeah. Let's you upgrade your mod, basically. Okay. Because Don't I need like to do that yet, though. <laughs> and when, no. a lot of my so, Kunai's, I have Hornet Strike. Hornet Strike? Yep, drop that in. Uh, Volt. Oh, here's something fun. No, go back to your, um, your Kunai. Yeah. Right, you notice the um, symbol in your empty slots. You got the lot of V-shaped symbol on your Kunai slots. We must restore if the, the symbol of mod matches the symbol of the slot, it halves the cost. So you notice Hornet Strike only costs one when you drop that slot. Got it, okay, I understand. Yep, easy enough to mix okay. and match. I understand that, okay. Uh, vault, yep. and upgrade. Equip pressure point. Ooh, pressure point's too expensive. Whip. Oh, is that on your Kana? Yeah, see. Uh, Skana, yeah. Yes, and we can do that. You can upgrade yet. your Warframe. Your Warframe is a little more complex, but if you go to upgrade your Warframe, what I would recommend is putting on redirection. Into which slot? Um, it's got a D I symbol. I can't. Uh, I can't. Have you got a D symbol slot? No. Redirection should only cost two. Copy. What's the your Warframe it's four. capacity? Oh, there's a redirection that's two. Okay. Yeah, that's a damaged one. Just use uh, the damaged one for now. Does it matter where I put it? If you've got D slot, put it in the I D don't. slot. If not, put it anywhere. Okay. Just don't cool. put it on a different symbol, because if you mismatch the symbols, it'll increase the cost of it. Now I can also... Oh, I can't. I can't do stretch. Yeah. Okay. But All yeah, right. redirection increases your shield capacity, if you see on the left. Okay, cool. Yep. So now you should be tough. Alright, good to go. Alright. So what's our next mission? I don't know. No idea. Let's, Let's do it, though. Locate the foundry segment. So we've got to go look for a bit to upgrade our ship. Alright, let's do it. Oh, vote in process. Okay. <laughs> so if I start the mission, you just click accept or deny. Yeah. It. There's so much to teach you about this. No, it's ridiculous how much is uh, involved with it. I will learn probably 10% of what you tell me. Yep. And it's then it's just time of episode. actually doing it. Yep. By the way, you can move your ship on the loading screen. Oh, really? Yep. That's as for players disconnected or not. You start moving your ship, and if they respond by moving theirs, that's in public games, though. On here, obviously, we can tell. Alright. Don't forget, you've got your lightning bolt if you really want it. Yep. I was afraid of this. The Is there a reason to loot these things? Yes. Sometimes they drop mods, uh, they always drop, like, you see that yellow, can you see the yellow diamondy thing on the floor? Uh, no, you must have picked yours up. 
Yeah, but nothing. that's affinity. It's basically XP. You can get XP crystals. Um, crafting materials are important, though. You'll definitely want uh, crafting materials. See, I've got a detonite amp out of that one. By the way, did I show you what my number one ability is? No. Hold on. Let's see if I can use it on this one. The queens fear you, but I will show them their love in return. The mines are slash and dash. I literally dart, uh, dart forward and slash through things. So what's the uh, goal of this one? Do we have to be sneaky or...? Um, they... Yeah. If you... If you're wondering why she's going staticky, you know that implant that he's stuck on us? Yeah. It's basically um, disconnecting us, basically. And making uh, making it so we're his. He's trying to basically steal, steal us. You think of it as a slave collar. Right, we've gone the wrong way, by the way. Have we? Yes, that's fine. Oh, cool. Oh, there you go, you made it. Yeah, of course I made so it. So much for it. Right, these guys with shields are annoying. Because they do that. I shoot their if feet, you get... though. Oh yeah, you can shoot their feet. And sometimes they'll pop out behind the shield to shoot at you. But if they get into melee range, they'll knock you flat on your ass. so... Also, you can just get up behind them. <laughs> They're not all that agile. Oh, out of energy. Right, so your abilities cost energy. I forgot to mention that. Your ship is one step closer to completion. Now, there is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice. Right, so this is turned into an exterminate mission now, which basically means kill all enemies. Kill everything. They start marking enemies for you now. If you notice, there's red dots, or red diamonds. Yeah. Squares, whatever you want to call them. Rhombus. Um, by the way, one of the running gags is about Vort, in which he won't shut up. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, in the very, very, very right hand corner, you should see a bar. Yeah. Yeah, that's your energy. Each ability costs a certain amount of energy, and when it runs out, you can't use your lightning bolt or whatever. Oh, they're above us. Oh. Alright, so remember when I said there were some puzzly bits? Have a look at this kind of thing over here. I mean, it doesn't need to anywhere, but eventually in certain missions, you'll need to sneak through areas like that. Okay. Oh, they're giving us the runaround with this exterminate, aren't they? Yeah. Ah, found him. Is he hurt? Right, um... Okay, so to do with hurting, do you know how, where your health and stuff is located? Top right hand corner. Yep, so your shields regenerate, your health's not. So basically what, what the best thing to do is if your shields end up running out completely, is just take cover. They love the way you can just slice them into bits. Yeah, it's it's pretty satisfying. That's why I like melee. <laughs> right. Wrong way, guy. We're over here. Tag teamed. Right, so there's 19 out of 35 enemies killed, so we've got a few more to do. Okay. What's up? They're apparently over here and above us. So basically we're just murdering people. Yeah, basically, we want to cover our tracks, so we're getting everyone here. That's not nice. They're Grenier. They're trying to enslave us. Also, the Grenier are not nice. 
Just generically not nice. Right, that guy was trying to access the console, so if you see one of them run up to a console, kill them. <laughs> They're about to raise the alarm. Oh yeah, and if you melee in midair, you can, well... Strike down <laughs> upon them with furious anger and vengeance? Yep. Yep, exactly that. Slice them straight down the middle. Wait. Oh yeah, by the way, you can wall jump, so... Yeah, I just did it. Yep. Also, if you jump at a wall and hold right-click aim, you'll stick to the wall for a short period, like... Oh. This. Not that you saw, but you get the gist anyway. Just jump at a wall instead of jumping up. Hold right click. And you'll hang there. Yeah, I'll, show, I'll demonstrate on this pillar. See? Literally magnetized to the wall. How do you magnetize? So jump at it, and then hold right click. Yeah. Oh, okay. Put it. Yeah, sure. It's kind of handy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of handy if you're going to fall in because you can magnetize and then re-jump. You know, so if you run out of double jumps or whatever, you can just cling and then jump again. Um, we don't want to go that way. That was the last enemy, by the way. Was it? Oh, yeah, now we have to get out. Yep. So stand here and push X. Boop. There you go. Okay. And through here. You can see the exit from here anyway, just look for the tenno shaped holes. <laughs> Sweet! Another job well executed. Yep. And more mods. I think these are preset mods that it's giving us. I noticed they seem to be very um, particular Yeah. From what they're giving us. Well, Bane of Corpus and Bane of Grenier. It's very unusual that you get both of those. Hmm. Anyway, we've got our next up. Okay, let's do so one down more. Down the ramp first. Yep, down the ramp first on the right. Wait, what time are we on? When you are I don't know. I forgot the time. The uh, I think this is a good place to cut it off, probably. Well, let's, I'm anyway. installing this thing anyway. Right. Foundry. Foundry is your crafting. Okay. So, if you go into it. Okay. Here, the operator will craft many right. You should see an Ascari negator. Yeah. To expand your that's not enough need components. To okay. Yeah, that's what we need to build to remove the implant on us. So those are the materials to connect, uh, collect, even. Okay. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free. Yes, orders. Right. So our next mission is to go collect the resources for it. Oh, okay. But for now, I, I think this is a good to end it. All right, guys. Uh, your outro, I purple. Totally yeah. yeah. Uh, as I soon as Arrow's done talking. Ah, uh, Darbo, even, whatever. Why didn't you just say so? Well. <laughs> oh my god, just keep <laughs> talking. <laughs> Guy. Jesus Christ. I know. Can I do my outro now? Now you can't, no. Operator, I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship, Cephalon, when you can afford it. <laughs> That one seems glitched. I've marked Great. The, navigation the fridge. So it's sending us to the fridge. Whatever. So <laughs> this has been Warframe. I've been Purple Phantom, and this is your stainless. <laughs> Good night, everyone. See you guys. <laughs>